All right, so we're going for a two for Tuesday, and uh, that's going to be a combination of a tractor Tuesday in an auction preview. Now, this weekend, yes, it's snowing and miserable, but this weekend, Saturday, is going to be like 70 to 80 degrees. It's just, it's April, it's moody, but there's going to be two plow days, two organizations holding plow days, an auction, and a poll. So I think, I'm pretty sure <clears throat> I can make two of the four. This auction, not going to be one of them. Not going to be one of them. So I want to come here and do a preview anyways, because little birdie in the window, uh, we call Wes, told me there's a little bit of red power here maybe some stuff to go with it so let's do a tractor tuesday and an auction preview a twofer boom So for Tractor Tuesday, we'll do the International 504. This was the utility version of this model. And, uh, of course, they made the row crop version as well. And uh, the tractor got a really bad rap in the farm all international world. Because they, see the, they saw the number. It was the same thing with the 450. And then the 460 come out. And the 460 couldn't do what the 450 did in terms of tillage. And same thing here. They saw, oh, 504, that's 50 horse, man. It'll go. Even the row crop version of this couldn't couldn't out pull a Farmall M. My M's 36 horse. This is going to go 46 horse. And um, they, they just didn't have the torque. That, that guys want but if you used them correctly for what they were made for something like this is set up it's got the exhaust going underneath the tractor ah, they probably had a brush hog you know they got the grill guard there that there and um used it for hogging and um i wouldn't be afraid if you wanted an international 504 i wouldn't be afraid to put a bid in on this one the skins are good good year um the steers are good the drives are good the seats good everything about it the, the paint's good on this um new hide um new inline filter there Let's see oh they got the key in it i'd have to get benny wet butted to start it but um no hydraulic remote in the rear like i said brush hog tractor you wouldn't need one <sighs> looks cat one to me i don't know which I'd probably be fine. They were probably running out well, to cover your your drives. You'd probably need a six footer, and, the, and that would probably work okay at 46 horse. Again, good years here. Um, coming around, got the battery cover. Everything looks decent on it. Got a ballast resistor right there. Um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, this this was the bad rap tractor as far as I'm concerned. Um, of this series, the 544 was the most desired and is still to this day desired. So there you go, a Tractor Tuesday international utility version of the 504. Well, here and you got a McCormick Deering 10. And uh, at, at uh, the Andy Raber auction I went to last year, one of these sold. And I'll just walk around. It doesn't look horrible. Um, it is single disc. It's got that weird single disc shoe type combination. Um, look in the back. Yeah, they used it for oats, which is interesting because that's what the the uh, the guy at the Amish auction that I talked to used used his for. Although his was in a lot better shape. This is quite rotted down here in the in the seed bin. So. It needs some work, but it's here. That's a McCormick 10. McCormick Deering 10.
Got a Farmall M as in Mighty, and uh, so are those fenders. I'm not sure if they're off a 450, a 460, or what, but those are the big heavy clamshells. Um, you know, some guys figure, well, you know, having fenders is better than no fenders. The skins look really good on this. Um, my word, I don't know if they're new, but the 13638s. Flat tire, though. Huh. That's a hard sell. So is this. You see an, an open port like that. And that. Uh, the belly pump is there. But, uh, yeah, let's read the tag. Okay. Huh. That's interesting. Mine ain't quite set up like that. Ill, Ill seat shock. Ill seat shocker. All right, let's see if they tell. No, just farm all in. Keep her basic. Oh, somebody pimped her out. Got the silver shifter on there instead of the ball. Um, yeah, it's just basic, although the... It does look pulled. I mean, it's it's oval and right there. And yes, it is muddy here, but yeah, it's got the roller. Um, I, I keep thinking the hitch is low. Flat tire. So yeah, there you go. Um, I don't know what year this is gonna be. Four eight seven zero three. Gonna be an earlier. Oh okay. So it's not. It doesn't even have the air cleaner going into the carb. Maybe you can get this on the cheaps. Put a little bit of elbow grease into it and go for broke. Um. Yeah. It is what I'm just showing you what I'm seeing and I'm just saying what I'm seeing too. Okay. Yeah, and these These ports here are wide open too. So You're not gonna have hydraulics on this machine. Oh, I figure I'd show a little Massey 35 uh, Loader and it's not a trip bucket either. It's got kind of a I don't know What would you call this Massey Ferguson's version of the 2001 with a single cylinder in the middle there, but uh, cute little sucker walk around the back you know if you were just doing light duty work or something this would be fine yeah cat one yeah you'd be able to pick stuff up and put it down you know like your mulch or or your stones or whatever whatever landscapers do or hobbyists there you go well what would an auction be without a cubby and I'm going to go right to the serial number. That's a 24228. So that's going to be your year. And it comes with a new set of stickers. In case you wanted to do a paint job on it. It'll come with those already. Skins look okay in the rear. Okay, it's got the got the drawbar. I don't like my A. This is how I need to get my A set up. See how it's pulling from underneath instead of just back here. Um... More flip proof, I would say. And I would think at one time this might have had the one point fast hitch. So I don't know. Let's see what the tag says. The tag's just going to say Farmall Cub, I'll bet. No, it's not going to say anything. Item number 930. Tiny, tiny little carburetor, man. I mean, holy crapoli. So, yeah, and there you go. And somebody chromed it out, and they even got the can to match. At least they were smart enough to put one on there. I've seen people leave their tractors out at auctions and stuff and not have anything covering it. It's like, okay. But, you know, honestly, if this runs I, and you wanted a Cub, I, I wouldn't be afraid to bid on this. It actually does look like it runs. Uh, you know, all the parts and pieces are here. Belt's nice and tight. Got about a half inch of movement at most. That's good. So yeah, there you go. Cubby. I don't know if I've ever seen one of these sell at auction. This is an Oliver Superior grain drill. Got the grass seeder in the back and of course everything else up top. But uh, 15 hole I believe I counted. You know, and somebody's going to say, no, no, they, they didn't make une you know, uneven numbers on those. That's 16 hole. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'm a little bit cold, folks. But rope trip. So you could pull it with anything, but big heavy duty tongue on there. And there you go. She's selling. 
All right, seven shank chisel plow, and uh, they're painted blue, but that doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean they're Fords. Doesn't mean they aren't Fords, but it doesn't mean you can't afford. So yeah, seven seven shank. I I don't know. I think twenty horse a bottom, and you're comfortable. But but ten for sure. I wouldn't want. I, I don't know. Eight fifty six minimum on these. Got a set of woods here, little five footers. Good little food plotters. I had the, not this exact same set, but I had the, okay, the DHM7s. I had the seven footers and they were a good set for me until I decided to go pull type. Um, nice for getting back in the woods or like I say, food plots or gardens. You know, at the one red power auction I went to, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, they had a 244 that sold and, uh, I just, uh, you wonder about getting parts for these. They're Japanese built. I believe Mitsubishi engines in them. And uh, just like the 284, you, these were good tractors, but uh, you just, when it comes time to fix them, there ain't no getting the parts for them. And that's the problem. So, yep, that's something going in the front there. I'm not gonna highlight this too much. It was definitely a landscaper's machine. Got another cubby and we'll hit that uh, serial number right away and we're gonna get a oh man wires in the way let's see 224968J yep we saw one of these sell I believe at WTC at the last at the antique sale of course this got the belly mower and whatnot uh, looks rough looks rough doesn't mean it doesn't run if you come to the auction I'm sure somebody will be here to start it if it does start we got an international pull type plow here. Um, I thought it was power up, gravity down, but no, it's just missing one of the hoses. So that needs taken care of or addressed, not a big deal. Um, this is gonna be a 70. You got the 60 and the 70. This is a four bottom, looks 16 all day, 416. Uh, looks like somebody welded one of the mold boards right there uh, versus changing it out. The trail wheel. Uh, the tire will need replaced Might as well take that off and redo the bearing while you're at it, but uh, yep 70s they The axle goes over the frame that means they're 70s under the frame 60s the 60s were a little bit more desirable I think because they're more rare I don't think you're gonna plow any better with a 60 than a 70 but yeah here they are they seem to be in pretty good order like I say, other than you'll need to deal with that, fix the hose situation, and, you know, if a weld bothers you on a mold board, this probably ain't your set. So there you go. All right, International 350s. This is only the second set I've ever seen sell at auction. Um, the last, this, it looks about nine foot to me. Um, there's, what, eight blades per gang on there. Um, they're not very big. Uh, for sure an H would pull these, a well-ballasted H. The hoses are a little rough. Cylinder looks okay, it's small. Um, yeah, that that's, you know, but this isn't a big set, so I don't think it would take a bunch to power it up and power it down. Uh, notched fronts, like I like. They've got these dropped down, um, so I'm not gonna be able to spin them with my foot. Missing, missing a disc at the end, and that may be by design because it's missing one over here so I don't know if they were trying to prevent ridges or what but there should be one on each end and I don't know what's going on with this chain thing got the SMV sign holder but something funky's going on I, I don't know maybe they just put that there but then I look here and it's the standards not connected and yeah need some love need some love you know you can only take on so many projects at a time in life and and get things done and these are what they are international 350s and like i said i don't know if they're eight footers or nines farm all a with a woods belly mower on it big old belly mower on there um that's pretty much you know what guys are using them for nowadays um okay skins the the, the muffler's just funky on this <laughs> Somebody's gonna say, "Oh yeah, that, those are that's a newfangled muffler for the A's." Well, I don't like it. Yeah, and there you go. Like I say, if it fires up, they'll fire it up at the auction. 
if not well when they don't start they sell hard man they sell hard it's an ace key well there you go you got two 244s here so what you do is you buy them both and you got a parts tractor so that, that's the cure got the rops this is the better of the two at least looks wise um and i don't know i can tell you it wouldn't surprise me if this was the one down at that red power auction down at burke holders but yeah if you just couldn't live without a 244 ski buy them both and there's your parts and yes a third 244 buy all three and you could have a good one for life now well, one of the few john deere tractors i ever gripped was a john deere 318 and admittingly it was a nice nice mower hydrostat and uh, it was just nice really was uh the engine blew and ended up selling it but this one's for sale at auction on saturday mow for days there's a slew of mowers here a side-by-side -side honda side-by-side -side, uh, white ford craftsman john deere simplicity cup cadet you name it they could be here a while and actually this is a good place to be because it's stones you ain't gonna get your feet wet you definitely need muck boots if you're coming to this auction i mean <laughs> muddy all right well there you go that's green hill farms on route 77. i think they say their address is technically cambridge springs I and mean, good grief you're on route 77 coming from the east you're like two-thirds of the way to meatville but anyways, there's a couple reasons I don't go to this auction. Number one, it's always, always horribly muddy. Which, yeah, you can wear your muck boots and slop through it. But the parking is, it's the worst I've ever seen for any auction. You either park in the mud or you park on the highway. The highway that I'm driving on now. And it's just never really hit home with me. They'd have to have something very spectacular that I couldn't find deep in my heart to live without to go to it. But what I think I'm gonna do is go to a plow day Saturday, and there's two types of plow days. There's a plow day where it's all red power, and then there's a plow day that is going to have a magenta of colors. So I'm gonna post on a community tab, and you guys can vote which one I go to. If I go to the magenta of color one, then I could do a farm all versus John Deere, John Wayne. And we know who will probably win that. Or I can just go to the chapter 16 IHC plow day. And uh, I'll probably have the drone on me. If there's any moisture falling from the sky, it's a no fly. I don't really feel like replacing a drone. But either way, all I'm running is the camera. I'll bring the heat. Boom! Oh, and here comes some heat, too. You know the routine. We take care of green.